The big question, of course, in India is a sense of concern over just what happened that has made the government in Nepal turn belligerently anti-India, it appears. Is this domestic politics influencing foreign policy or is there something else? Well, uh, Rajdeep, uh, one reason uh, that is not generally noticed in New Delhi is that this crisis has been brewing for a long time. And uh, unbeknownst to much of the intelligentsia in India, Nepal has had a claim on the Limpia Dura area uh, historically. And uh, since the 1980s, there has been agreement that this is a disputed territory, Kalapani and Limpia Dura. It came to a boil in uh, 2015 when Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Modi agreed on using the Limpia Dura, uh, the Lipu Lake Pass for domestic, for pilgrimage and for trade in which Nepal protested on both sides to both capitals. But more recently, uh, when uh, a map was published following the bifurcation of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, in which, again, the Nepali territory was what the territory Nepal considers its own was included within Indian territory, that led to an issue. Then finally, what happens is that on 8 May, there is an inauguration of the road to Lipu Lake, which is firmly a disputed territory between Nepal and India. That led to a blow up in Nepal. Nepal started uh, putting together a map, mm -hmm. which is actually ready in January. But Nepal has been waiting for quite a few years for talks on this, mm -hmm. especially since uh, Jaya Shankar, the foreign minister of India, visited August last, uh, 2019, and they agreed that the foreign secretaries would look at this matter, among others. Instead, India taking unilateral action mm -hmm. is how these things have taken That's off. Whereas, seen, seen from a New Delhi perspective, it seems as if it has blown up just right now. So, that is just a history to it. Sure, uh, but, but, uh, but, but, you know, uh, Mr. Dixit, the Indian view, in a way, is that Prime Minister Oli has been looking or itching to get into a confrontation with India because it bolsters his domestic image, his domestic constituency within his own party, possibly beyond that, and his growing proximity to China. How true is that? Okay, the proximity to China, firstly, uh, historically, Nepal has been economically closely linked to Tibet, which is now part of China, number mm -hmm. one. Number two is the most recent tilt towards China began in 2015 when the uh, blockade, which had not been pinned on the Madhesa citizens of Nepal, it was a blockade by India mm -hmm. uh, conducted on Nepal. Mm -hmm. and. Therefore, there was this tilt. Now, coming to your question, as mm -hmm. of now, yes, Mr. Oli has been weakened politically, and in a way, a lifeline has been thrown to him. But from, let us add just one more point. The point is that the map that is in the middle of this controversy, the new Nepali map that shows the Limpia Dura Triangle as part of India, mm -hmm. that map was prepared in January and ready. Mr. Oli on, Nep on Nepal side kept waiting for the talks to happen until political exigencies in Nepal ensured that by mid-May he had to push it through. And in June it was actually adopted. So uh, from January till June, Nepal did want talks. The, no, the information we get, the news we get out of Delhi mm -hmm. is that it is uh, Nepal that has been prevaricating. But from what I know, the talks that should have happened, uh, it was a delay on the part of New Delhi. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.